The man in the green shirt is Kenyatta Bullard. He's known as rapper Young and Ace. He was a sole survivor in a deadly quadruple shooting at the town center in 2018. In the video, he wears an ATK chain around his neck. The lyrics reference three men killed in shootings. One of the victims, known as Bibby, is 16-year-old Adrian Gaynor. He was joy. All he did was laugh and dance. He was shot and killed in the Hilltop Village Apartments in 2019. Nobody can do anything worse to me than killing my child. It took two years for an arrest to be made. The man accused of killing him is Hakeem Robinson, known as rapper Queso. Um, man, what the hell? Is fucking going on here, bro? <laughs> Yo, I seen somebody said in the comments of that post y'all just seen from Shout Out Say Cheese. Somebody in the comments said, "Yo, the feds is handing out Rico cases like Oprah. <laughs> you get a Rico case. You get a Rico case. You get a Rico case. Everybody, bro." Young and Ace, they building the case on Young and Ace now? The nigga went to court for this shit? <sighs> Yo, this is not, I, I, th when we look back on this point in time, like maybe in 10 years or how many other years, Yo, this might be the period where the most rappers is going to fucking jail, bro. But, like I always say, bro, and I, I'm going to call it a theory. I have a theory, but it's kind of like facts if you just pay attention to it. You know what I'm saying? All of these niggas who's getting these Rico cake, not, not everybody, but but I say 98, 99% of the artists that's getting Rico cases is because they self-fucking snitching, bro. You just seen that look the report that they did on him, bro. I'm not here to be... The police. Y'all, it's, it's other YouTube channels that can do or investigator. I don't I'm not here for that. I'm here to be the voice of reason, bro. Did you see the report they had? They know the names of people, they know the nicknames. They like why do niggas think that just because you using slang, the fed the, the feds don't know what the fuck you talking about. Bro, they can it, people around your neighborhood know what the fuck you talking about. Niggas gotta stop, gotta stop self snitching on themselves, bro. Niggas have to stop self fucking snitching, bro. Talk about the real shit, but stop giving away the whole story, nigga. You don't even change the names. You not even gonna change the names. You not you go you gonna make a song talking about everything that you're doing and shit that you did people to allegedly, but you not even gonna change the names. And what do you, what the fuck do you expect, bro? What do you really fucking expect? What do you really fucking expect, bro? It's crazy too because you know you know what's crazy about the young and they shit. It's like they haven't. It's like they're trying to charge him with it, so he hasn't been officially charged. But he already knows. Like a lot of a lot of motherfuckers don't be knowing. You know what I'm saying? Even though they be a lot of them be self snitching, but they just boom one day they wake up and that's when them boys come. He already knows, bro. I'm pretty sure that nigga's like going through some shit, bro. Like stressed out. But niggas gotta stop self snitching, bro. Like, I mean, if you like, you waving a white flag, hey, or a big red flag, hey, come over here, come get me, hey, over here, police, hey, it's me. Look, this is my face. Look, this, this. They even look. You heard him in the news report. He wears an ATK chain, bro. <laughs> you bet. You 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 got your shit on the chain, bro. That you're doing allegedly illegal activity with, bro. You're basically wearing a sign. Like a picture me had a big fucking sign on. Like, hey, I did this. This is this is the this is the niggas right here in Virginia. These are the niggas that's doing it. Me. Everybody with this chain on, bro. Niggas is self-snitching at an all-time high. And the feds is they didn't caught on, man. It's they been, you know, the feds already already been pretty crafty. But now they didn't really caught on, bro. All they gotta do is say, "Hey, all right, next rapper, who, who just type in beef in a, a city or a state, 
rap and it's going let's get them the 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 boiler boys versus like bro and then niggas be getting mad when like all these little internet like I'm not really more, I'm not really a blogger you know what I'm saying but the niggas who be like digging into the cases and shit niggas get mad at them you you really can't get mad at them because y'all putting out the shit Y'all putting out the material. Y'all putting up the Instagram lives where y'all talking like this. Y'all putting out the songs and y'all saying the actual names. <coughs> like, bro, what the fuck? What the fuck do you expect, bro? <laughs> oh, man, we, we just gonna, we gonna say, we gonna talk about everything that we doing, but ain't nobody gonna... What the fuck is wrong with y'all, bro? Y'all didn't learn from DJ Academics, War, and Chirac? Y'all didn't learn from fucking DJ Vlad? Niggas who get locked up doing his interviews? And they using type, that type of shit in the y'all didn't learn from when they tried to they tried to give Boosie the death sentence and was using his fucking rap lyrics. And he won't even release. He he, he said he, no, he wasn't really specific specific. But that's what I'm saying. Like, but y'all are being exactly specific. Who I smoke? You basically saying basically what you're saying is I mean they know who I kill. Who I you think they don't know just because you said who I smoke? You said the actual name, my nigga. Man, this crazy world, bro. This this last couple days has been crazy, bro. From all these crazy stories I'm seeing, bro. 2022 is going to be some crazy shit, nigga. Y'all stay woke, man.